everyone and welcome back to Haunted Cities Volume 2. I don't know why I'm welcoming back. This is the first time we're playing Haunted Cities Volume 2 by Kitty Horror Show. Um, my name is Maya. Hi. I don't know if you guys have been here before. Thanks for coming in. Um, what the hell are we doing? So this specific little game is called Bloom Puke. Uh, some of her games do not have, do not have endings. I don't know if this is one of them. I also don't know how to look up or down. I guess. Hmm. Bethany and Ursula. Hello, friendly spirit. Hello, kindly wraith. Here are Bethany and Ursula. Ursula and Bethany. We are keepers of the Temple of Crystals. You have questions for us? I guess I do, because I don't know what's happening. What do you know about the islands? A desert full of bones and shrapnel. A swamp full of teeth and ambition. A temple full of lights and whispers. A playground full of ghosts. A menagerie of dreamers. A burnt page adrift upon a secret lake. A ring that misses the chain. Terrible public transportation services. One of those is not like another. Not a single bathroom. Not one. That's weird. You have questions for us? Well, what's up with the crystals? They hold up the sky. They fill up the sea. They teach the worms to see. Why do worms need to see? They teach the leaves to dance. They give the stars their colors. They give the night its breath. They're pretty, okay? That's valid. You have questions? What can you tell me about this temple? It's a place for healing. A place for stories. A place for jewels. A place for stars. A place for smoke. A place for candles. I feel like it here. Who's who? I am Bethany, and she is Ursula. That wasn't very descriptive, but all right. Goodbye. So like I said, I'm not sure if there's actually going to be an ending to this one. Her games don't always have endings, which I'm referring to Kitty Horror Show as a her, and I'm not meaning to. I don't actually know what the pronouns are, so they, I meant, I'm just going to try to remember to refer to them as they. But yeah, a lot of their games do not happen to have endings, <laughs> as far as I'm aware. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, it just means that some things are very open-ended, and I'm not quite sure when things are- when to end a video, I guess. Um, and there are four vi there are four little games in the Haunted Cities part of uh, Volume 2. Oh, hello there, kind spirit. I have never seen you before, you must be new. Welcome. My name is Vivian, I am the Temple Keeper, I am pleased to meet you. What may I do for you? Uh, what do I look like? Well, you're very much like a shroud made of spider silk, draped across the head and shoulders of an invisible woman made very fetching, I must say. Alright. Uh. Bitch. What's up with this temple? It's quite lovely, isn't it? We're all very glad to have found it. I missed all that, I thought. I guess so. Tell me a story. Why, I'd be delighted to. Once there was a beautiful queen who lived in a flying castle. The castle floated high above the clouds, drifting higher, and you always taken the queen to new places each day. The queen took great joy from exploring the new places she found, meeting strange creatures, and discovering wondrous artifacts, like constantly. One day, her castle brought her to a triangle of floating islands. 
into the what? She was stationary, so it was the queen's fault. And do you know what she did? She bailed. 100% pure hit and run. It took the <laughs> islanders a lot of time and money to get their castle fixed. So if you ever see that asshole castle floating around, get its plates, okay? Probably too late to do anything, but you never know. <laughs> what? Uh, justice must prevail. Glad you agree. Yeah, what the fuck? No, I guess that's it. So does now, are you? Okay. How much more is there to explore? Well, they said three islands, right? This is obviously the first island. See if there's, I don't know if there's gonna be anything behind here. No, nothing behind this little temple. Which is much bigger on the inside. Is a bridge. Hello, Gregory. Hello, uh, not the official name, of course. Hold on, I need to. Oh my God. Okay, hello there, travelers. Welcome to the island of Boon Monster Ghost. Not the official name. Of course I made it up. Catchy, huh? What can I do for you? Oh, what can I do you for? Uh, what is this place? I just told you that. Well, obviously. Who are you? My name is Gregory. It's nice to meet you. I stand here and greet travelers. I do this because I'm incapable of moving up. You're the only one, actually. That's a shame. Certainly is both of those things I said. Is there anything you'd like to know? What's going on around here? Not a lot, truth be told. One of the others are investigating the pyramid over there. Margaret and her courtiers are hanging out in her swamp castle, and that temple near you is certainly a building. Pyramid? Yes, nobody's really sure why it's there. Not that it matters much, it's just the pyramid. Pyramids are never important or interesting. Lies. Literally never. But you're free to hear that out there and wallow around in sand, I guess. Anything else? Swamp Castle. Good old castle Gloom Pew. You see, each of her stones is haunted by a separate ghost. Which is obviously bullshit. But the cool kind of bullshit, you know? Fun to think about. They make good food there anyway. Anything else? I thought you said you couldn't move. How about the temple? That's right, it's an alright temple, I suppose. Of course, nobody here has any idea what a temple is for, but Vivian hangs out there and tells nice stories. Ask her to tell you one if you love it. Oh, you'll love it. Understand? Love it. Anything else? I think not. You weren't very insightful. Fare thee well. Okay, uh, I guess let's go across this bridge. This one looks to be the swamp. And a castle. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Castle, gloom, puke, and all that. And who might you be? A piranha? Oh, hi, hello. My name is Roderick. I'm the swamp monster. It's super nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Being a swamp monster is great. I make so many friends. Need anything else? Uh, what do you do here? Yes. I'm the swamp monster. I guard the castle. You're not one of those, right? I don't. I didn't catch the last line. Too early to tell. Well, let me know as soon as you find out, okay? I need to know so that I can guard the castle from you. My job is very important, and I'm good at it. You sure are. Need anything else? What's up with this place? Swamp. Swamps are the best. 
I get to be a monster in them. Plus there's a castle, so I get to guard it by being a monster. It's a sweet deal. Need anything else? Can't say I do. So, uh, see ya. I pressed the wrong button! I also can't run. Is there anything behind the castle? Does not appear to be so. Wait. Go into the castle. Change of music, I guess. Go left first. Oh, it's a library. Some books to read. This book is titled The Noble Species. I actually wanted to read that, thanks. Read it. The book opens naturally to a page that looks handwritten. Of those creatures who dwell within the realm, it is unanimously accepted by all of sound mind that the alligators are the smartest, coolest, noblest, hottest, most charming, most prestigious, funniest, best at sports, most lovable, most mysterious, kindest, best looking, and generally most well equipped to rule of all. Also the best kissers, and they have the nicest handwriting. Something tells me an alligator wrote that. Great Swamps of the Realm. You open the page about Gloompuke Swamp. Having garnered a reputation for excessive putridity, and being widely accepted as the shittiest swamp in all the land, the long-suffering Swampians of the realm united their magic and performed a spell to fling Gloompuke into space, in hopes that it would crash into the sun and burn away. Alas, I don't think that happened. about this. On foxes and hounds. Innumerable crayon drawings and ink sigils makes this book impossible to read except for a page at the front, across which Mildred Rocks is written in long shimmering letters. Alright then. About this one. Pictures of wolf people screaming at things. Predictably, the book is filled with illustrations of wolf people. Engage in the act of screaming at various things. Wolf person dressed like a knight is screaming at a barn. Kick fetching wolf noblesse is pulling on her hair and screaming at a chicken. A striking wolf person butcher is screaming at the sun. You spend several hours. <laughs> several hours? Several hours? Who am I to judge? Uther? Uther snores welcomingly. Uther snorts knowledgeably, gesturing it to the surrounding bookshelves. Uther snorts inquiringly. What can you do here? Snorts proudly. Snorts libra libranically. Snorts archaeologically. I knew that one. Snorts Wesley. Eve. Wesley? Cool. I guess. Inquiring. <laughs> what is going on in this? Can you tell me about the castle? Uncertainly. Snorts mysteriously. Snorts swampaciously. Snorts appreciatively. I see. I guess last question, what do I look like? Snorts mercurially. Snorts em emeraldarily? Snorts hoverisectally. Snorts emeraldically? I have no idea what any of those fucking words meant. What the fuck? Uh, nothing. Snorts amiably. Some of those were in fact real words. Some of them were in fact not. Okay. Let's just run across the room to the next one. If anything, at least the music's nice. Nothing in the corners. Doesn't appear to be too much in here. Guinevere. Hmm, who are you? Are you a ghost? What do you want? Oh well, never mind. Welcome to Castle Gloom Pew. I can't exactly stop you from wandering around. But please be polite. Queen Margaret is very anxious today. So who are you? 
I am, my name is Guinevere, I'm Queen Margaret Stewart. I'm very pleased to meet you. We don't often have visitors. My cat, please let me know if I can be of assistance. Margaret. Her is the queen of Gloom Peak Swamp, not that there's much to be queen of. Now none of us really know anything about this place. We all simply appear here somewhere, and we cannot leave. Poor Margaret said she always wanted to be a queen, and she's cute, so we figure it can't hurt anything. Fair enough. Is there anything else? Who is Margaret? Margaret is the queen. I think I went through all this already. Uh, what's the story with the castle? We don't entirely know. It was simply here when we showed up. Spacious and nobody was using it. There are some inscrutable books in the library. Not much to say then, that really castles are cool. Okay. What do I look like? You look a bit like several wisps of dark purple smoke. Um, braided into a cage with a sphere of water floating at its center. They all have very different opinions of what I look like. A fox. Can't interact with any of this shit. Hello, love. Care to have your fortune told? Hell yeah, let's do it. She closes her eyes and begins muttering. Mmm, hooah, er, ah, ba 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 Mmm, you take any long forest hikes recently? Not that I know of. <laughs> technically, I just finished recording a video that involved a forest, so technically. Or wake up in a bed with your feet covered in dirt, maybe? Uh, or, I don't know, those... Crack any mysterious knives made out of bone? Oh shit, my knife bone! Yeah, you buried that thing deep. I'd pack some snacks, you've got some work ahead of you. <laughs> what are you doing here? Kitchen stuff and fortunes, is that okay with you? Totally. Wonderful. Uh, what do I look like? Like one of those zoetrope things made out of pink glass. Where you spin your show, a spider like horse galloping along, which is a little fucked up, but super cool, I guess. So fortune, yes, no. Uh, no thanks. Do it yourself. You're kind of weird. Okay. Well, that's this room done, I guess. Last room. Oh, these are all going to be way longer than I thought they were going to be, aren't they? Margaret? Look at this fucking throne. I can't believe this bullshit. Who sits in a throne this big? Makes a throne this size. Oh god, I'm so mad. You gonna be okay? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And I can't sit in my huge fuck off throne. I don't even know how to get a refund. Mail doesn't exist here. Ah, and I hate this. Yeah, it's a pretty large chair for sure. I'd be a queen of anything like this. Check out Margaret, the comparatively tiny, in her giant fucking chair for giants. Snapping is feeling now. Uh, pretty sure you'll be fine. You don't even have a body. He's in a shape like a torso. Your cloud of amethyst drones. Get out of my large castle. Well, fuck you too. That's fucking rude. Okay, I guess we have one island left. Then we can move on to the next one. Of which there are four... Like I said, I think I said this earlier, there are four games in this pack, and this is the first one. Did I even say my name? My name is Maya, in case you didn't... You couldn't tell from the... <laughs> from the name of the channel. Ezekiel! Fuck you, Ezekiel! Hey, old traveler, I am the goat of woe, the woe goat. I am woe, I am the woe goat, woe, oh woe. Woe to me, the goat, who must dwell within the scorched waste. 
draped in cloth of rugged canvas, burning, aching, scared by sand, I am the goat of woe. I pick up on that. You mock the wandering spirit, you deign to torment me, thou cruel specter. Thou maleficent fetch. That's so fetch. Whoa, and woe again, you have bewowed this goat. I'm sorry. Then it is the fate that we should meet here this day. You, the ghost of sorrow, and I, the goat of woe. Woe to you, sorrow, and woe to me, the goat. Why come ye to this cruel and loveless place, sorrow? I was birthed by malice and spat here by a cringing void. I caught storms in my, uh, no. I gathered hate in my mouth and screamed myself awake. I crawl like a spider and roll worlds and webs to keep them. The world is a curiosity and I have come to paint its walls. Oh, dial it back a notch or two. Damn. <laughs> Fuck you. I'll be as dramatic as I want to be. What can you tell me about this place? Little I fear, three islands locked together adrift in silence and we Stensians without purpose or movement. Damned to stand centennial like jagged paper wraith. Lightly prone pantomiming? I don't even know that word. It's just it fills me full of woe. Bye. One last question. Oh, shit. How do I appear to you? Like a cyclone made of shards of shard sharp red glass, you twist slowly when I look into the eye of your storm. My goodness, woe. Woe is me. Well, now that we've talked with the goat of woe, whoa, 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 is anything behind the pyramid? Can we climb up the pyramid? Whoa! Oh! Hold on, hold on. Shh! I get to talk. What the fuck? I feel like I should be in a Mario game. Man game. Okay, it looks like we have three separate people to talk to, so let's start with this one. Ah, oh, shit. Go up the stairs. Alright, let's go start with this dude in the corner. Gackle? Catherine? Oh, this is so fascinating. My goodness, yes, unbelievable. Those angles, those markings, so exquisite. You there, take a look at this sigil. What do you see when you look at it? How do you interpret it? A runic eye glowing furiously amidst the temple of feathers. You think so? I can see that. An omen, perhaps, some prediction or portent? A culture of oracles who ply their craft with language. How cool is that? Fuck. Well then, how may I help you, strange specter? What's up with the pyramid? I haven't the foggiest, but I adore it. It just sort of appeared one day, all full of cool and mysterious bullshit. Her eyes go very wide as she begins breathing heavily. Studying things makes me feel really good. Fucking love knowledge. Need anything else? Well, what do you do here? I'm the foremost thingist and archaeologist on all the floating. I set up this expedition I'm focusing my studies on. All those bright glowing hieroglyphs that are floating around. I don't see any glowing hieroglyphs, don't you? How curious. They're impossible to miss. They're everywhere. One of them appears to be licking your hair at this very moment. Perhaps your eyes simply haven't adjusted yet. Need anything else? Do you know much about the islands? You mean the three islands rock? Not really, I'm afraid. I have a theory that each island is from a totally different place, that they each belong to a different distant world, and were they separated from them somehow, they made to come together by some means. What do you think? Sounds possible? Much as anything, I guess. Really? Well, thanks. Nobody's ever thought so before. Need anything else? I can't say I do. You're sure are interesting. Okay, anyways. Next one. Who are you? Teresa? Hmm, oh, hello there. And what are you supposed to be? Some sort of fetch? What the fuck is a fetch? Stop making, tr trying to make fetch a thing, Gretchen. Well, try not to. T uh, what? Everything around here is very mysterious and valuable. Did you have a question? Who are you? My name is Teresa. I'm an archaeologist. 
A special legend pyramids, tombs, mysteries, ghost worlds, sunken cities, doom mazes, and scales, scales, scalatropoli. As you can see, I am a very accomplished and respected scholar. You can tell because of all the true things I just said. Is there something else? Uh, yeah. What do you do here? I'm overseeing this archaeological expedition. Catherine organized it, but she's very invested in her studies. Someone needs to stand here looking imperious and delegatory. That makes me the senior delegatorist on site. It's an extremely difficult and important job falls to me. Is there something else? What's the story with the pyramid? That would seem to be the million Rathic gem question. Like most pyramids, it's full of mysteries and artifacts. Not much is to be expected. What we don't know is where the pyramid came from, or indeed why it came here at all. But then we don't know that about most things here. Or even ourselves, really. She stares off into the middle distance for a very long time. I believe I've depressed myself. Is there something else? Not really. Bye. I guess stand there and be depressed, Teresa. Okay. Last dude. Last dude. Let's go. Or maybe it's last dude? Er. Yeah, no. Last dude. Okay. That's a lot of Oz. Saxtus. Look upon my urns. So fine, so rare, so delicate. Think what they might once have held. Water, wine, or sand. That's probably it, really. I love urns. I'm glad for you. He's not listening to you anymore. He's too busy attempting to fit his head inside of one of his urns. He's doing a lot of whimpering. Uh, so I'm going to say that he probably doesn't have much more to say to us. Okay. Well, kind of a letdown, if I'm going to be honest. Point of a letdown. Shit. Fell into the sand pit. Well, I think that might be it for Gloom Puke. I don't think this one has an ending. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Oof. Uh, who's a good boy? I am. Oh god, he speaks. Oof. That's a good story. Oof. Oof. Oof, oof. A woof? Oh, you heard the man get out. I can't jump. I can jump. Anyways, what happens if we fall? We just get teleported right back. Okay, I think that's the end of Gloom Puke. So we are gonna go to the next one, which is called... What is this called? This next one is called Monastery. Run. We're up. Oh, I need to use the fucking. There's sound with this one? Oh, it's just really quiet. I couldn't hear it. But I have to use the arrow pad for this one, which is weird. Hold on. I know there's. The controls for this are weird. Hold on. I just need to look at the controls real quick. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Arrow keys to move, left kick to interact, page up, page down to look up, down. Up, down to look down, home to reset. Those are really weird buttons to use. Okay, um, I guess. Weird. Really weird. Well, just flick around, I guess. Okay, anything interesting in here? Anything interesting at all? What the fuck is this? Massive grub rats atop a cutting board. Its glassy eye considers you pleadingly. It seems incapable of moving away.
A note? 10 bu mealworms, 10 bu leeches, fresh maggots, silkworm larvae, net crawlers, black soil. What is the obsession with bugs? What is the obsession with bugs? You pick up the old knife. I think we know what we have to do with this knife here. I think we know. <laughs> you slice into the grub and a jet of warm hemolymph bathes your wrist. The grub attempts to grasp your fingers. You continue cutting until there's only viscera. In the runes of the grub's body is a faded metal key. Ooh, you pick up the key, it's labeled infirmary. Lovely. Lovely. Where is that infirmary? Okay, there's stuff in here. A page copied from some holy text. It describes parasites burrowing into the organs of soft mammals and the glorious jubilation of their feeding. You motherfucker! Get out of here. Go away. Here I get my fish. Siblings, am I right? You scare the shit out of me. A page copied from some holy text and describes cicadas hooking their claws into the bark of trees and ripping themselves out of old carapaces. The description is mellifluous, borderline pornographic. I mean, okay, whatever. You may want to think about bugs being pornographic. Page filled with erratic scrawling, the words skin and shred and drink and writhe are repeated many times. Ew. 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 Page copied from some holy text that describes the hive queen swelling to an impossible size, full mountains hollowed out by drones and filled with larvae. I'm not here for the description of any of this. I think I can interact with anything on the shelves. Doesn't appear to be anything here. And a book. The heavy tome is marked in several places. You open to the first marking. The passage reads, On her wings rode fury and venom. In violent, irreparable change, the sky shivered with her birth, and the horizon was pregnant with the mounds of her children. You open the book to the second marking. There is a passage that reads, Her children were not of weak flesh, nor dull hand, nor small gasping mouth. Her children had skin of armor, and lances filled with venom and cleaving jaws, and their minds were a chorus, jubilant and unified, and she loved them, and they were all that she loved. He opened the book to the third marking. There is a passage that reads, Most of her children come with her from the wound in the sky, but there were some among the fleshy ranks of men that she saw as worthy and raised up. And they drank up a full of her bile, and their bodies were changed to better serve her seething anger. He opened the book to the fourth marking. There is a passage that reads, And when she had combed the herds of her new disciples, and her ranks had swelled to her liking, wings opened across the earth, and the sky drew back in horrors as her children filled it. And the morning saw a world that had been matted down to the soil by blood. He opened the book to the final marking. But there is no passage yet, at least not written. A thin iron key has been wedged between the pages here. It label, its label reads library. You pocket the key and put down the heavy volume. Um, okay. I don't know if you guys if you guys watched my first I think it's my first three scary games. There I think it's like the very last part of that that video. I read a web novel, basically. A web novel, Choose Your Own Adventure by Kitty, a Kitty Horror Show, and it's called Hornet. And I think this is a continue. Oh, what is this? And I think this is a continuation or an explanation of her, um, of that story. Oh my god.
various medical diagrams and surgical illustrations detailing the hybridization of living creatures through surgical means. Interesting. All indoctrinations hitherto successful, stability of brother's service questionable. No other outstanding concerns. Halfway metamorphosis, all ideal. Barring those weak souls we put down, she looks upon us with great favor. Ours will be a triumph of her arrival. The corner of the infirmary is filled with hanging chrysalides. They throb and pulse with shifting, changing, growing life, apart from one exception. They appear fragile, so near to the end of their metamorphosis. They dare not move too near. We dare not move too near. <laughs> I have to agree. Uh, knife? Various surgical implements are arrayed across the counter. They have been poorly maintained, and every one is completely drenched in thin, runny red fluid. Among them is a slender glass knife of exquisite making. You take the knife. I have to, I have to question what we're doing with said knives. Port is locked. Obviously, we don't have that key yet. Door is seething. You flatten your hands to the wood and feel a deep shuddering, some cruel energy enervating the material in the palms of your hands. There is no knob or handle. At the center of the door is a metal panel with three thin slots. Three thin slots. Do we put the knives there? Because we seem to be gathering the knives for something. I'm not going to go through the center yet because I don't know what's in the center and I kind of want to leave that one for last after we've explored everything else. Hey, look, the library. We were looking for this. The manifest of books, scrolls, and texts procured within the last month among them is a tome apparently recovered from a ruined farmhouse. An illuminated manuscript about the hive and a rite of invitation. Hive, the way you describe that. Anything? Oh, wait a minute. A table of correspondence associating various invertebrates with the respective planets, precious metals, and acidic liquids. Okay. Anything in these ones? You open to a random page. The boy came to a clearing where a great bloated took wallowed in a shallow pond and he found that he could not speak for she had filled his mouth with bleachers as he was running through the swamp. Ooh. What is the obsession with bleaches? You will know you have come to the kingdom of the Hierophant for the roaches will have the teeth of men and the wasps will have not fingers but tongues and the worms will twist themselves into knots until they are torn and bleeding. Her mother whose head was full of the tattered king's perverted songs shut the girl in the attic where blood dripped from between the teeth of the mad-eyed rocking horse and the spiders laughed like murderers. The priestess sank into the mud, which whispered to her as it filled her ears, and she felt his oils and secrets slide across the wrinkled flesh of her brain, and she shivered, and the knife burrowed under her ribs. The man walked, driven like cattle by the tower's groan, and with each step he took, a new worm penetrated the sole of his foot until he was not but a suit of skin for their family, steaming and boiling at the holes of his eyes. Oh. Uh, okay, it looks like they're just repeating now. A virtual invocation. Its purpose seems to be changing the color of the sky to create an environment more suitable for the invitation of carnivorous deities. Mm, we invited a carnivorous hornet deity here. something behind you. Aha! I did it. Uh, look down. A knife! You pick up the slender knife. The handle feels slick and it numbs your fingertips. 
All right then. So that seems the library to be taken care of. At this room. An odd compulsion stops you in your track. You drop to one knee and begin panting. Your vision clouds over. It feels like termites are crawling across the surface of your eyes. You go blind for but a moment, then the sensation passes. You stand and catch your breath. I'm walking into a room. Okay, please. No, that one's locked. But this one. Labeled chapel. Okay. Where's the chapel? Is the chapel? Which one's the chapel? There's supposed to be a note here, but I want to know if there's anything else in these. Nothing. Mother is coming to visit. I'm so excited. I haven't seen Mother in a long, 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 long time. Alright, that's valid. Be excited for your mother to visit. Okay, and we already looked through all these ones. So, find the chapel now. We already... Nothing this way. Uh, and then I think this will probably just take us back to the beginning where we came in. Which means we can explore the center now. Not sure I want to know what's screaming. A pair of heavy wooden doors leading out of the monastery. They refuse to budge so they don't appear to be locked. There's a bug flying in my face. Ah, I caught it. They seem to have been barred from the outside. Survivors are clawing at the wood from outside, trying to undo the boards they erected to keep your followers trapped within. Seems there's nowhere else for them to retreat. Wait, my followers? Mine. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? I had the crickets so loud. Oh, how lovely. Brave. The freshly filled game. The soil is dry and tough, but looser than the surrounding earth. Okay, so the same thing. Okay, so these are all freshly filled. Not concerning. Uh. It, mother? A statue of hate, mother of the hive, goddess of fury, plague, wings, death, and stinging insects. Her wings appear to be crafted from shards of some fine red crystal or glass. I feel like I should be able to do something with Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. I feel like I should be able to do something with them. Is there like a shovel out here somewhere? Why are the crickets so loud? Seriously, they're fucking loud as fuck. Okay, I'm not seeing a shovel. Alright, well, 
I guess it is what it is. Excuse me, Mother Hate. Let's go. Oh, yeah, the chapel. Not that one. Was it this one? Oh yeah, we didn't come in here. Okay, it's because we, we found the chapel key in the bedroom thing. Shovel! You pick up the trowel. Or a trowel, same thing. Word sermon is written across the top of the page. At the center of the page, a centipede appears to have been chopped into pieces. Its fluids have long since dried into the paper. Okay, I guess that's all we have to say about that. Let's go dig up a body. Let's go dig up a body. Excuse me, excuse me. Wrong way. Hello, mother. Where is the dirt? Hold on. Where did it go? Oh, right here. Okay, so there's four here, obviously. I think I want to go with three. You dig up the grave. It proves to contain not a body, but a small, thin glass knife wrapped in a scrap of old cloth. You pop up the knife. Oh, I've got three knives now. You dig up the grave. You uncover the body of a man with the eyes and arms of a fly. His mouth is a flaccid grain tube of sallow flesh. He appears to have been stabbed in the chest. Probably with a knife I just picked up. You uncover the body of a woman with the legs and segmented underbelly of a cockroach. She appears to have been stabbed in the chest. These are three sacrifices. You uncover the body of a man with no eyes, whose skin is slick and translucent from head to toe. He appears to have been stabbed in the chest. I nice know they've all been murdered, probably with the knives I have with me now. Does Mother Hate have something different to say now that I've dug them up? No. Okay, now what is through here? You gather up the three glass knives and slide them one by one into the slot. Each produces a slow, viscous gout of viscous gout of watery red ichor. The knife Knives dissolves, their handles drop to the floor, and the door begins to slide upward into the ceiling. Strange. Oh, oh, what the fuck is this? This door is massive, sturdy, slick with the same red watery fluid that seems to coat everything in this place. Beyond it, you can hear wind, the rustling of leaves, and a high constant droning that makes your chest feel hollow. This <laughs> is so loud. You pull open the door and step through. I'm just gonna walk forward, I think. It's the bees. Like giving me goosebumps and making my skin itch. Listen to that sound. and bright incessant. A thousand million pale thin wings. All of them yours. Are we mother hate? Are we Mother Hate? What are you doing over there? Oh, you shit. You're scaring me. What is fucking right now? You honor us. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's the end of the game. That is the end of the game. Uh, something tells me we are, in fact, Mother Hate. I'm gonna get the next one pulled up.
I'm gonna get the next one pulled up real quick. This next one's called Roads. I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, everyone. Yeah, like I said, this one is called Roads, and apparently this one is a love story. A love story to what? Who knows? But I guess we just follow the roads. And pick up little messages and bottle. Oh shit, uh, that's not really in a good place for me to read it. Fine. Let's we'll follow the road for now. I don't know how long any of these games are, but we are already pretty much now, almost an hour in. Like, I can't seem to sprint. Here's we are stuck just following the road. She wove her fingers in the mine and we watched the ships leave us behind. We had nothing but the sand and the sky and each other. Oh, that's cute. God, they slow these roads are gonna be so long, aren't they? I can at least use Waz again, which is great. I wish I could use a controller, though. Definitely prefer playing games with a controller. Okay. Let's see if we can go find this. In the way, the road's in the way. We came from here, right? Is there another road off this? No? No? So how do we get to the next one? Do we just like hop down from one road to the next one? Obviously, we went. We came from that one. I went to that one. So I guess let's just. Can't read it very well from over here, though. <gasps> oh, oh, I can. Well, what's the point of the road? Her star was the rabbit, and she was exiled for the way she changed the city in her sleep. My star was the wolf, and I was exiled for the bitter words I etched into their doors. We wept for days, but we did so together, channeling our tears into the curve of each other's necks. Neck. And is that the extra S in there? Fine. The first rose rose up from the water, not when she was asleep, but when her back was arched and my lips were pressed to her stomach. I gasped, and she shut her eyes, smiling. No, there's an idea, she laughed, and combed her fingers through my hair. We did these ones. We did. We're just gonna cross, run across the water to. Other island? I think we started on that one. I'm assuming we have to find all the bottles until we get the words around us in a circle, and then I think it'll be done. is a bottle on this one. Maybe I grabbed the bottle over here already? I don't think so. Do I have to grab them in a specific order? Here it is. Aww. Blink it on the beach. Do 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 do. it on the beach. Do 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 do. Read it from over here, so I'll have to make our way over. Now we just gotta figure out how to get to all these different ones. Like, I'm assuming that one will probably be the hardest to get to. But we need to get up there. Um, how do I get to this one?
So there's a top and a bottom to this one. Stay on this one and we'll take us to the top. Oh, I need to read that though. And there's no easy way to read it from over here. Fine. Read it in a minute. I feel like I'm missing some information here. That one, and then... It's gonna give me some motion sickness here. I feel like being on this one will make it easier to read that other one where we didn't get a chance to read. Because now we have three that we need to. Okay, now we need to get over to that that tower. Then we can figure out how to get onto that floating island. Not floating, the taller island. Okay. We walked together to its apex and we looked across the water. We can't see the old continent, she said, and rested her head on my shoulder. It isn't there anymore, I told her, and pressed my lips to her crown. Guess that makes us the queens now, she said, and pushed me laughing into the And they were lesbians. Okay. She raised the wise column from the depths and filled it with sand, into which I carved the gliss for a tree and wind and sanctuary. It was not the home we had once dreamt of licking wine from each other's lips, and pressing our shared presaging our shared future to the moons, but it shone in the ruby sun, and its pillars made the wind sing, and it was ours. We woke one morning to find a tower had shouldered up from the water, threaded through with a new ribbon of stone. We walked to the top and stared at the simmering inner walls of the spire. We pressed our faces to the crystal and saw wolves and rabbits bounding together through the fog. Okay, okay, interesting. Ooh. I feel like we still have like three or four more. I can't be right. Maybe they're just maybe maybe only it's only two more. Top of this tower and then that island. We should need to get to the top of the tower, which would be great if we could sprint. I even though this is still going pretty fast, I'm not even gonna lie. It's very calming. Very sweet. It's a cute little love story. We should be able to read this one, this next one from here though, without anything obstructing it, hopefully. loop going maybe jumping from this this one over here maybe thankfully we don't take all damage here you know Yeah, like I said, this one's very sweet. It's a very nice little love story going on. Cute. Also, the music's very relaxing. Okay. Almost there. 
We're halfway there. Well, that would have sucked if I missed. That would have sucked if I had missed. Hello, little bottle. Where are you at? There you are. Okay. We just have these last two to read and we'll be good to go. And then we just have one left. One game left. It was night and we were catching our breath and my head was pressed up underneath her chin. And the stars were rearranging themselves, and the sea was quiet, and the latest road was settling it. Stones into place, and I heard her whisper. There's another one, but it goes up forever, and only I can see it, and I want to walk it, but not alone. So I told her that I would make ink that would hang in the sky, but we could leave our history behind us. And now that I have, she is smiling at me, at the foot of a road only she knows is there, waiting to go make some place new together. And there is no one in any creation more beautiful than her. So sweet. It was so sweet. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's all there is to this one. So I'll see you guys here in a second for the last one, which is called Scarlet Bow. As in like the bow of a tree. You know? Back. Okay, there it is. I was like, where did it go? <laughs> all pulled up. Um What the fuck? Yeah, so this one is called Scarlet Bow. Which is I don't excuse me. What? Fuck. Okay. There's that's all there was to that. Uh, and we have a little mini coffin, but I'm guessing we just need to run around and explore the town. I've got no little coffins. What do we need these for? Oh, I just hear a heartbeat. Can I get into this? Does this open up at all? Oh. We need something to put in these. So I guess keep an eye out for things we can put in there. This, I apologize, this is going to be a very long episode. These games are actually way longer than I thought they were going to be. Can't interact with that. Door is locked. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm assuming there's going to be like a little coffin in all, on all these, maybe? Probably not. Oh, that one opened. It looks like a little face. <laughs> Cute. Oh. Uh. What the fuck? What is this? Lock. Back. Blood. There to be anything around the side. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. I don't know if there's a way to unlock these or if there's keys to them. Or if we just have to suffer knowing we can't ever get into these. A mirror! Oh! Oh, seven years of bad luck because we broke a mirror. Which is probably what we're supposed to be doing. Okay. So we'll keep an eye out for coffins. And... Break mirrors. Got it. Here. Oh, but we can go in this one. No mirrors. Block. See any coffins? That oh, was a door. Just a bookshelf. Socket. Nothing. Probably gotta be a mirror in here somewhere. Right? Yeah, a mirror. What is with the blood? And what are you. These more of those things from the last one? Monastery? The, uh. What did they call them? What did they call them? The pods? We have a bunch of pod people. Is there a point to breaking these? 
Is there a good ending, a bad ending? Thing. Nothing. Walk through this one. Nothing out front here. Nothing. very interesting um i don't like i said i don't actually know anything about ugh, what the fuck is with the pods? i don't actually know anything about the game though i did see somebody call this a love story to silent hill so apparently this hat apparently this might be this might be inspired by silent hill which is interesting i also can't say i've ever played a silent hill Ear to the ground so you can hear her roots. Nothing behind the door. Nothing. No mirror. Seriously? Nothing? No mirror, no coffin, it's just a note. Locked. Odds. No mirror, no coffins, no note. I guess that's it is what it is. But always something out there, and I don't really want to go that way. Just yet. Check that we'll check that building out here in just a minute. Can't interact with the mailbox. Locked. Nothing around back. around the side of this, right? Plus a lock. Nothing. Oh, I don't know. You think I want to go with you to the tree? You can't see the cocoons, but I can. I can hear them too. They don't like where they have been sent to. I don't want to. Um, I don't think I want to go either, if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest, I don't think I want to go either. But often, how many of these are there? Being as diligent as possible, if I'm being honest. These ones have all been checked. That building's checked. Um, I don't want to go that way yet. I want to finish exploring over this side. So we've checked all these, checked all this. We've checked this building. We're going to ignore the tree for now, which looks like spider webs. Ugh. Not the biggest fan of spiders. I can deal with them, but they're not my favorite. Is there a door into this place? Oh, hey, uh, this thing. This thing, this thing. I think we'll go plug into that. Lock. Lock. Over this way. Open. Often. Behind the door. Okay. Um, yeah. Go we'll plug this in real quick. Wait, does this open? No, it didn't. We broke into mirrors and we found five coffins. So I don't know how many of those things there are. There are. Where for art thou, Romeo? We need two more then. Okay. Two more. two more plugs. And then I wonder what that does. Oh, this is gonna be a long fucking video, ain't it? Ain't it, my dudes? Okay. So we're gonna ignore. Why 
eyes. There's so much blood. There's a concerning amount of blood in here. Obviously, that one's gonna be locked. A mirror! Coffins in here? Just the mirror. Alright. Works for me. Circle around the building real quick. So there's nothing on the outside. Ash cans. No notes, no nothing. This is a very creepy game. The ambiance it has going for it. A coffin. Sure. One's locked. One opens up. Doesn't appear to be anything in these houses, though. And if this is a love story to Silent Hill. How is it Silent Hill? Is it just because people are missing? Like, everybody's missing from the town and it's kind of foggy? Because it doesn't seem like anything's hunting us. Which, I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh, what is with these? Fucking pod people. I'm trying to see if there's any... Coffins behind any of these things. Apparently not. Well, this house is clean. And you stuck behind the door. <gasps> you. Ominous at all. Not done exploring yet. You. Make the clock now. Do we have the non red lights come back, please? Thank you. which I don't want to follow yet. We'll leave it for now. We're definitely not going towards the scary-ass fucking tree with its branches reaching all across the place. Everything's locked. Everything's locked. I'm scared. I'm scared. Can't go into that tree until we finish exploring everything. I refuse. If they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. Warrior? Is that just me? I just mean. That corner go. I. It won't let me read it. It won't let me read it. It's here. I just want to read it. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. Through the existence of such a creature is a common feature of many belief systems. I don't think I'm going to read all this. If you want to read it, 
pause the video now. And you can read through it. But I think I'm I don't think I'm gonna read it. Give it a few seconds. And we're going. So oh, if you want to read it, feel free to just pause the video. Here yeah. Please. Okay. I'm in that building already. These ones. Lock. Round it. Case. Next one. Of which this one does open. Oh yeah, and we're still looking for two plugs. I forgot about those. at all? Not even a coffin? No little coffins? Well, fine. There it is. Lock it. On these pouches. Lay alcohol. Around the back. Okay. Run around it real quick. Make sure we're not missing any more coffins. Excuse me. Means next building. Just real quick. Great chance of nothing. This is a very terrifying concept. Actually making me very uncomfortable. Okay. Seems to be a store. the quietness is making me very uncomfortable. Very unsettling. It appears to be in these rows. Nothing at all. we get anything for like finding everything of which i don't know if we will find everything but i hope there's something for getting a decent amount considering we have eight coffins now we have broken five mirrors which is not a good thing for our um for our luck unfortunately Seventeen hallways, eighty-nine doorways, one seventy-five visible routes, eighteen generators, five seat pods, twenty-eight floors, thirteen known. Attics, twenty-six windows, zero mirrors, eighty-five. I found five. Locked. I've now found six. And a plug. We need to need one more. At these ones already, which means come over here to the fence. I don't like how quiet everything got. It's very unsettling. 
do we just need one more which i don't know where we'd find the last one because we looked over here already right dropped a box the who god knows where what the fuck Oh god, what is this? I'm being as thorough as possible though. I'm trying my best to make sure we get everything we can find. Keep an eye out for everything. Not to say that I won't miss anything, but I'm doing my best. Doing my absolute best. Around it. Spring Waves Mortuary. Hmm. Sounds unpleasant. I'm sure I want to come in here. Look, an actual coffin. Lock. Another note. Ninth September. Ninth of September of 19th something. Weather is fog, light rain. Reactivity none, coastal aggression minimum. Exports 19 arms, 27 legs, 11 trunks, 8 tongues, 15 eyes. Like, trunks? This is my torso? Last night dreamt again of a layer of skin underneath. Whale of Island, walk to perimeter of island in morning to watch for signs of figure, none seen, 68 days since last sighting of shivering pillar. The kitty horror show games always, are, always have either like a very cute or are very unsettling. There's like no in between. A mirror. Odd. See any coffins though. The mirrors. Coffin. There's like I didn't just miss a coffin somewhere. Like the very the obvious coffin, you know. Anything around the outside then? No. About this one. Anything around the outside of this one? Don't appear to be so. And it's locked anyway. Okay. So we've checked all of these. Which means we just have a little bit more to check. Oh, and then we can go interact with three. So there's obviously a structure over there. We'll go check out the structure real quick. Too quiet now. Like you, the, you get the ambiance, but it's just too quiet and settling. Where's the last plug? These guys do. These mean anything? Hold on, I just want to see. I'm going to Google it to see if anybody else found anything in regards to them? Do the crystals. And... Do the crystals and scarlet. Hmm. Hmm. Nobody seems to have an answer for this. Okay, yeah, no, it doesn't look to be that anybody has an answer to these crystals. So I guess we're just gonna leave them be. Oh no. Oh, there we go. I was like, it wouldn't let me do anything. Seriously, like, what are we meant to be doing with these? Anyways. Leave them be, I guess. 
sounds are making me very uncomfortable. And we're still missing the last... Last plug! Where is it? What does it do? What does the generator thing do? Bet you it's somewhere in there, ain't it? We checked this place out already, right? It was just these guys left. Block. Here to have a coffin with it. Coffin. But this one. No obvious coffin. Un whatsoever. Okay. Didn't open either. The last one. Go check the big building. Nothing. Doesn't open either. Okay. The outside of this one. Door. Nothing here. Hmm. 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 Okay. Hi. They coffin in here. Yeah, right there. What about a mirror? Locked. What about plug? Oh. Um, yeah, I don't think I want to go in that one. <gasps> there it is. Right here, guys. We done it. We done it. So I guess we can just go plug this generator, this last one into the generator, and then we can go to the big scary tree. I really hope I found all the mirrors and the coffins. I doubt it, but I hope I did, because I checked everything as thoroughly as I could. Loud. I don't know if it does anything. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what we accomplished with that, but we plugged it in. Okay. Last thing, I guess, we're going in to the unknown. Any more coffins? Any more coffins? Here, any more coffins out here? Here's coffin. Hey, can I? There we go. Like one, let me grab it there for a second. Big scary tree. A big scary tree. <laughs> that was loud. I give you this portent. My skin is a boiling tapestry. The old tunnels fill with veins. Fox is narrowing his gaze. Okay. That appears to be the end of the game. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is fine. Um Yeah. So I guess that that's it. That's it, guys. That does in fact seem to be it. Uh hold on. Okay. Yeah. So um I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. These are interesting little games that that um kitty horror show has been doing uh obviously these ones have been out for a while that was volume two volume. yeah volume two that was volume two <laughs>
Uh, they were very interesting. Honestly, out of the four, I think Rhodes was my favorite just because it was a very sweet little love story. Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any game suggestions, feel free to either leave them in the comments down below and or the video description. I do check through them. I do plan on going through all of them at some point. It just will, it takes me a bit of time. And I, as you can see from my schedule, I do post a lot of things. At, I do post a lot. So, that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked it, please let me know. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!